Can you say daddy plays video games? Daddy's playing in the drinks. Hey guys, give it out here now. I'm gonna go ahead and try this series on Overfall and see how how we like it, uh, how it goes. Now I'm playing Overfall. This code was given to me by the developers, but I, I requested that. I've been looking at this game on Kickstarter, and I've been really excited to get my hands on this game. It's, it looks like a lot of fun. It's very different from what the channel normally does. Normally, I'm shooting people in the face and owning noobs or, or, or getting owned myself. But what we're gonna be playing is Overfall. Not every single day, but I'm looking to get some games, uh, you know, kick some some videos out. Um, hope you enjoy them because I'm going to be enjoying playing them. So you should as well. So a little bit about this game. Now it's a fantasy role-playing game with rough dipl diplomacy and tough action. You'll lead two heroes on a journey across the high seas in search of their lost king. You'll encounter people of all breeds and creeds, ally with them to crush them without mercy. You will face many dangers, survive them, and you may unlock new characters, weapons, and skills. It's a world where permanent death is permanent. I read that sentence wrong. In a world where death is permanent, you must return to the beginning and make a fresh start, a.k.a. roguelike. The heroes you choose, the weapons you unlock, and the world that is randomized mean that no two adventures will ever be the same. So there's different endings to this story. Uh, it's permanent death. You start over. It's just It gets you right into the action. Now, I've played it through... Not played it all the way through, but I've played like... I think three different groups of people just to get an idea um, very dynamic everything is hand drawn uh, there's 36 combat companions 80 plus enemies 80 plus NPCs 100 plus locations so you guys are gonna see all this as we get into the story so what I've done probably is clicked on skip my ranting right to the gameplay because we're gonna start a new game in overfall so right now I uh, you originally come with a, a fighter and a cleric, so I'll kind of I'll, I'll just go with that. You have weapons to choose from. I have not unlocked any skills to choose from. Your top three, and different trinkets that that are kind of like passive effects that happen for you. We can we can roll the dice. Let's go ahead and do. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll have a little ditty about Jack and Diane. You know, they were two American kids growing up in the heartland. Um, did you know Jack was going to be a football star? Diane was Debbie Tom backseat of his car. So, basically, we were sent across the realm, a portal, to steal this thing. We came back, but when we came back, it was like three centuries since I came back. Um, you go through all this conversation, yada yada. Things are changed. Ever King. It's a big deal. We're going to get into it, and uh, do you have anything else that may aid us on a journey? Take this. It's too frag. Frag is the money. So we're going to set sail. I do like this. It is in beta. It's, uh, it's in beta? It's, uh, I should know this. Hold on. It's uh, early access. Here we go. So we're going to see that skip a lot. So here we go. This is procedurally generated. Every every time is going to be different. These islands are not going to be the same. Each of these have elf ships, forsaken, pirates, and here we, we have um, our different, like our, our dwarves, our elves, our orcs, and we have their, um, like if we're neutral or if we are, uh, we're hated by them because different encounters are going to net different things that happen to us. Release the witch! You arrive in a village where quite a commotion is taking place. A rather hideous old woman breaks free of her clutches and hand her over to you. Send the woman back to them or ask them, is she really a witch? I'm not a witch, I'm just really ugly. Uh, I think they're, they're doing a little bit of Monty Python action. The woman denies being a witch and claims the villagers are about to burn an innocent woman. Uh, well, maybe we can determine whether or not she's a witch. And if I remember correctly, um, oh, oh, and if you if you have this little orange thing pop up, that's like kind of something special, um, kind of for the character. And there's nothing you can do to prove it either way. You'll have to make a decision. But we're gonna bully her. Uh, not at all. Confession. If it's under duress, is it, young man, woman? My eyesight isn't too good. All right. Is she a witch? Uh oh. Should we burn her? We're not gonna burn her. We're not like that. At least on this playthrough. You declare that the woman's innocence and proclaim her under your protection. The villagers protest, but you're heavily armed and there's a bunch of peasants. They really can't do much. Because we bring our swagger. 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 
Oh, can we come? I had no idea. We just gained somebody. I, that was awesome. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to get some feedback. Awesome. I like it. So we, we were nice and we got a third companion. I've never had a third companion yet. So this is an inn where we can rest up. So uh, your your health doesn't increase after each battle. So, ooh, where are we going here? Oh, yeah, we're getting this person. Oh, we're going to take him. I didn't read the quest very well, did I? What a lovely place. I'm sure I'll find many vic uh, friends here. The old woman stretches her legs. That'll be free reship. She gives you some loose change in a way to say thanks. Wait, what? Uh-oh. She's already gone. She was a witch. So I guess we passed fail. So this little... This little this little bobble in the water kind of denotes that we've already been there. We can't really go back. So, bazaars are good to kind of know, ooh, where the, know where they're at. Well, hello, what do you want? The ship is crewed by dwarves, whose suspicious eyes search over your crew. One of them mutters an impolite greeting. Uh, let's go ahead and see if they need any help. Sure they do. Here's a quest. We've been hearing rumors of this island in particular. You like my voices? I'm going to keep doing voices, guys. So, uh, we're going to sail on to their island. Let's get into some combat here. There's this uh, hollow ship. We don't want to fight them just yet. So there's like this... Goblin. There's a Vorn or Vron. There's different races and things like that. Okay. You hear the drink festivals going on in the village. Everybody toasts and sings songs with joy. Oh, that's great. You go to the inn where a drink contest is on. Bottoms up. You drink with the dwarves all night, but you don't really remember who won. Probably you passed out. You wake up in a place that you don't remember at all. Hey, hey, we're not dead. Back in the village, the dwarves greet you with applause and laughter. Here is our champion. You were a legend last night. How do you feel? We thought you had died. Some headaches, some dizziness, but that was fun. We've never seen someone strong before. Ha ha ha. Come back any time. While well, he flips a coin. Maniacally or menacingly. Hey, what is he aiming that spear at me for? And Redbeard over here, eyeballing me. That was fun. So each of these encounters are um, are pretty awesome. So we built a little bit of a relationship with the dwarf. Let's let's keep let's keep pushing those on. Oh, boo! Ya rubbish! In this village, you come across a jester being jeered by a crowd. Join the shaming and or well, ask the weeping. The jester tells you that the village thinks poorly of his comedy skills. We should tell the audience about the importance of criticism. Is that a girl or a boy? I think it's a girl. I, I, it's Diane, so Diane's a... We'll try to be a better audience next time. All right, you better try, man. That's that's un, unfun. That's not funny. As you make ready to leave, the gesture catches up to you and gives you something for your trouble. Not everyone stick up for me. A novice performer like me thinks a lot, man. He looks a little douchey, but that's all right. That was fine. We gained some frags. We gained some money. Then, uh, what do we got? A hollow ship. Went there, went there. Let's go ahead and go down to here. Or we'll circle back around. Once we get a few frags, we'll see if we can buy anything, like any new weapons. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Um, on the island, you hear there's a theater formed by famous actors. They invite you to take part in the play. Dear friend, welcome. Please join us in our play. We would love to have you. We pay. Sure, let's do some acting, man. We're, we're going to act. We're going to act like crazy. Uh, this guy was born in the time that the evil erupted this world. On the first day, he asked for wine and defeated pirates. Oh, gosh, we're fighting. Okay, we're fighting. So here's the fighting. You have, like, a movement and then, like, a buff, debuff, and then an actual, like, fight. So I, I have the ability to go into the fray, but I'm not going to just yet because I don't want to be out of range of my healer because I'm smart. I am so smart. S M R T. See, perfect. So we're gonna bring her a little close, and we're gonna dispel his good buffs. Poof, they're gone. And we're gonna d -d 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 drop the hammer and miss. All right, perfect. Leap into the fray. Kick him in the nards, and we're going to cleave him with our cleaver. Haha, -ha, you have been cleaved. All right, fine, leave me back. So we can do this little thing when we're adjacent to him. We can pull him, which gives him half damage on incoming. Uh, Numbing Light, which is heal over time. Good to go. And finally, we're going to do a little blind. We're going to blind this fella. There are sparkly sparkles of sparkleness. All right, you're good to go. We don't need to move you anywhere. Um, we're going to do Earth Crack to remove a buff from you and add a buff to ourselves. 
And then finally we're gonna chop you. Then we're gonna execute you. And then you're bad. Bad, bad, bad. You're in bad shape. So he's bleeding. He's vulnerable. But he's regenerating. Right now I, uh, I'm disarmed. Not, not bueno. But, uh, gonna leave her here. Dispel his bad stuff. And, um, do some Holy Nova action. Bam! Hearthstone style. You have no need to move. Kick him in the nuts, just to kick him in the nuts, because it's fun. And we can, and we're going to execute him. You have been executed. Boom, done, combat finished. Hey, look at that. After defeating pirates, someone, someone marched into the woods. In his second day, he asked for raw meat and defeated the undead. Perfect. Perfect. I get to go back into combat. Hmm. I think I'm going to jump this fella, right? I want to get close. And keep this guy in the nuts. And uh, we'll just go and get some cle hot cleavage action going on. Wait, nope, that's not good. So, ooh, yes, I like that. Um, should we get up close? Let's just get up close and personal here. We're gonna dispel his uh, his negatives. Gonna accent the front of it. Da -da 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 -da. Come over here, my fella. We're gonna earth crack. Kadow. Makes you vulnerable. And it's a little premature on that, but I do want to put some damage on. Are we grouped up? Is he gonna do an AoE on us? Confusion. Oh my gosh, skip the utility phase. No biggie. We're just gonna move next to him. Skipping the utility phase. And we're gonna go right into the uh, the Mamba Jamma phase. Our sparkly, light, sparkly lights of sparkleness. Missed him. So he's blind, which decreases his accuracy. Love it. Missed me. Hit him. Not a, well, I guess... Missed me. I guess I'm the cleric. Apply a little bit of self-buff. And we're going to cleave him with our super cleavage of cleaving. And maybe my jump will be ready by the time we finish this fella off. Oh, run away! Move here. Uh, we're gonna put some uh, heal over time on this bad boy, and then d -d 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 drop the hammer. But now, time for you to do your leapage. Bam! So when there is a final person left, they are enraged, which is kind of irritating, especially like when you're like almost, like you're almost dead. I'm not saying this is a review, but it's just irritating. It's hard to fight because like you'll be almost dead, and um, they'll enrage, and you can't incapacitate them or anything like that. Um, I'm looking pretty good. Not, nothing utility. We'll do a wave of light here. Oh, the the music's kicking up too, man. It's super dr drama drama. Well, that hot buff action. You gonna run away? Running away. Miss me, miss me. We'll skip that and we'll go right to Holy Nova. Bam! Oh man, I do not like fighting these guys. Die in the sneaky. Your successful direct hit have 10% chance to apply hidden. And we gain some dust. So we're gonna get food, dust, runes, and food. Wait. Frag, dust, runes, and food. Got it. Um, to claim the hill as his own in his third day, this guy climbed up the hill and defeated evil animals. Also asked for some soup. So, should we do it? No, we're going to run away. We're going to run away for, <coughs> for another day. Because uh, I kind of don't want to die The uh, this close into the journey. You come across a goblin who looks and talks quite different than other goblins you've met before. It's not working! Wait, that's not your voice. It's not working. Oh, there should be a way. Hey, is there something wrong? Although feeling a bit offended, the goblin explains, Greetings, I'm a teacher who's trying to educate younger goblins to keep them away from the streets from dust. You know, how my kind is. But... But the families just don't send the kids to my school. They think I play with their minds, turn them into something they aren't. Well, looking at you, I can kind of understand their concern. Uh, 
It's not exactly what we meant. Why, do you think the teacher got it right? Well, he tries to do something nice, unlike you. I'm Franklin Goblin, and you're about to be very sad. Oh, we're gonna defend ourselves. Oh, oh okay, I didn't mean to. Okay, here we go, we're fighting. Good, good old good old 3v1, we got this though. I mean, have you met me? I got this. <sighs> Do I have to fight all three of you? I don't have to fight all three of you. Uh, we're gonna dispel your good stuff. That's right. And then I'm gonna d -d 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 drop the hammer. That's right, bring it. To Dao. Oh, you're a caster. Ah, oh, Red Bull gave him wings. Ooh, kicking the nuts, good dink, and then cleave him. Ooh, yeah, Mr. Goblin Dancer. What are we gonna do? Let's do a uh, numbing light on me, on uh, Diane here, and then we're gonna do a Holy Nova. A little hot heal action. Boom, done. Nailed it, aced it. What did you just like, shoot an M80 at me? What was that? Around a corner. Do an earth crack. And uh, you're dead. Whole lot of dead. Enough! I'm trying to raise good people here. If all you do is fight. Ugh, sorry. The teacher's right. We need our kids not to be like us. Aww, oh, little goblin kiddos. Okay, kids, today we'll do some maths. What does two dust plus two dust equal? Yes, many dusts. Okay. Well, seemed to be that whole dust conversation was a little awkward. Oh, I've done this one before. All right, upon your arrival, you hear that there's a riot going on against the Everguards. Dear citizens of the Ever King, dismiss now or else you'll be evaluated as criminals. Are you people crazy? You shouldn't ride against the Empire. It's just wrong. That's it. I've been generous enough. We'll show you what happens when you rebel against the Ever King. Rebel. Run away! We're going to go Ever King. I know it's uh, he's kind of looks like a pompous douche, but uh, we're just going to try it. We're going to try Ever King. All right, let me go up to that uh, that bazaar that we saw up here. No, that's not it. Is this it? Aha, it's the bazaar. We have 14 frags. I've never been here. Trade commodities. Let's upgrade our equipment. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. All right, try your luck to reveal an offer. Uh, so we only have... We only have 14. Should we, should we like... 30% chance? Okay, so... Hit upgrades. All skills now 20% chance of appear. Uh, ooh, I like the crit chance. Oh, critical damage. Okay. Select enhancements. Did we do it? I didn't mean to do it. Okay. We're, ch we're changing between people. Okay. So who do we want? Let's, let's, let's kind of buff this guy. All skills have oh man that's bleed blind cripple i don't necessarily know if i want to do it because i feel like enemies are always buffing the crap out of each other that like you're not you can't do that but what is this enhancements try your luck to reveal an offer and apply the enhancement should we do that should we just yellow that let's just yellow that <gasps> your weapon skills have a 10 percent chance to absorb let's roll another five Let's apply that. Sure. Let's do that. Insufficient funds. Alright. We yellowed. Whatever. Leave shop. We tried it. And uh, we're going to go and take off. And send. That bazaar was a really great experience. So she is 18 of 26 and we have 5 food. So we're going to say eat for 4 food. We can restore 8 HP. We're going to do that. Ah, oh, Poof. Goes then. See how our dwarves are doing. Hello there. I want to buy some meats. While exploring the island, you encounter a huntsman who's returning from a day's work. He appears to be carrying a lot of meat. Ooh, one food for two fragments. Let's do it. 
Um, actually, ask him about his catch. Huntsman delightedly tells about his catch. The story seems a little implausible. There was a sea monster with rows of rageous sharp teeth. It almost killed me, but I speared it in the face. Wow. Should we buy it? Um, let's save our frags. We're, we're good. We're good. Uh, that's completed. I kind of want to stay in the Fire Islands. For funsies. Because that's where we've been. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Alright, let's go over here. As you can see up here, you can unlock part people in your party. Oh, while wandering the island, you realize that time goes really slow here. After hours of walk, the sun is still up. They're, shi they're shining as if it's still morning. Uh, hey there, the sailors. Is there something wrong with Zion? You're with your companion. Shh, shh, shh. Yes, we know. But you should keep it to yourselves. The residents here have no idea that time runs really slow. We won't. We won't let you toy this island anymore. Prepare for a fight. But isn't that wrong? We know, but it isn't that bad, okay? Now we have time for we have for fun and responsible. That's actually kind of awesome. So I kind of think that she should let them know. Ah, whatever. We'll just let it be. We get four deaths for it. I don't know what dust is good for yet. It's okay. We'll learn. All right, Aramac. I was having a little bit of technical difficulty. An Everguard ship looking for an island to liberate. Everguard's eyes suspiciously. Suspiciously. Good day, Sherson. You're being suspicious. All right. I don't know how long we've been. Uh... Ooh, it works. Bizarre. Everguard hunting down a non-human scum. Other oh, races. We bound ourselves to racist guys. It's not good. All right. Well, whatever happens, happens. Maybe next time we'll not be. Ah, for Oh, he's very mad. He gave us. We got three food for taking him in, but he's not very happy about it. All right. I'll narrate the next one. I promise. All right. All right, on this island, you hear a door party and see a clear underground passage. Arr, we be looking for some damage dealers, healers, and anyone who knows how to swing a sword properly. I guess they're pirate dwarves. I like pirate dwarves. That's a really fun. Oh, well, let's go to Black Rock Mountain. Heck yeah, Hearthstone style. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of Hearthstone references. Welcome back to Black Rock, hero. We've been receiving the reports of suspicious action from underground. You meet the dwarves and form a party to clear the Black Rock. Right, let's, 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 this dude is. My sweet bandit scum everywhere. Let's clear thine path. Thine. Um. Bone pour. Deal one damage for each skill. Oh, yeah, yeah, geez, geez. Um, we're diving in. Bam. Um, we're gonna remove some debuffs here, and we're gonna cleave you in the face with a cleaver. It's cleavage time. Oh, I like his shield, man. Bam! Gonna get up close and personal on my, my jack here, <clears throat> and um, a little bit of nummy life, some heal over time action, and we're dropping the hammer. Bam! Now the uh, the NPCs actually do a pretty good job of focusing, so he's probably he's probably Deadsies, Deadwood. Yep, boom. Man, this game I just, this is a lot of fun. I've been really looking forward to playing this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. We'll probably call it after this quest for this video and see how it went. Wow, why are you so low? Okay, you did something where you shook shook your hammer at him. Let's let's press this uh, magic user a little bit. Kick him in the nards. And chop it with their chopper. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You got nothing, man. You got nothing. You're dead. You're dead. And we're gonna dispel your stuff. And then we're gonna blind you with our sparkly sparkles of sparkleness. Mm hmm. Now you're blinded. And you're out here all alone. You thought you were gonna press up on us? No, we are gonna run. You got nothing. You got nothing. What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Alright. Here comes uh old Dusty Glowy Shield. That's 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 what I call him, Dusty Glowy Shield. We go we go back all a long way. 
old dusty glowy shield. Uh, let's just execute just for the sake of doing it <laughs> and feeling like a bad, like awesome. I don't know. I don't swear. You know, swearing is swear, not nice. I don't know if these guys are gonna be in our party for the next one, but we may as well just drop the hammer on this guy. Bam! A seven-pound hammer. Oh yes! You keep going. The party faces a fierce troll. How fierce can it be? Ooh, 40 hit points. Uh, yeah, he hits for 12. Oh, he didn't hit too hard. He just had a lot of hit points. All right, we're gonna do a breakable. And uh, just shine our axe. I'll let the dwarves go first. Go dwarves. Go be dwarvy dwarves. And um, sure, you get you get the light. And we're gonna drop a hammer. Oh, eight damage. Add a girl. Our tempest. Oh, he's a healer as well. What is he doing to him? Alright, he's confused. Run away! He's weak. And he's gonna hit him. The heck? He's crippled and burning. So his he burned him? I feel like I, I should jump in and there we go. Kick him in his troll nuts. And uh, we're gonna cleave him with our cleaver. Bam! Rawr! Snow! Alright. Do this, and we're going to... Can we fear? Ah. Ah. And we're going to blind him. Fear and blind. Man, he is one messed up troll. What are you going to do, huh? What do you got? What do you, you ain't got nothing. Look at us. We're four awesome people. And you're just like the troll. I know that's racist, but this is kind of how it is. That would be actually racist, because... His race is a troll. Uh, I kind of shouldn't have moved there. I'm kind of saying, hey, come hit me first. But I don't want to get hit first. I want these guys to hit, get hit first. We'll go here. We will numbing light him. And uh, we're going to drop a hammer again. Oh, four. Come on, girl. You got more in you than that. I just finished my coffee. Mm. Oh good, I'm not getting hit. Am I getting hit? She's getting hit. Oh, she's that's fine, she can take it. I'm gonna come hit you in your troll booty. Kicking your troll butt. And execute you. Wow. He's dead. Killing 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 blow. Crunch fest. Ooh, we got three V4 goblins. This is a good quest, I'm liking it. Yeah, a little bit of that action, whatever that was. Uh, there, and then uh, we're gonna sharpen our blades here and let them come to us. So we got a caster, like a like a tank. Oh, what do we got? Um, he's a leecher, a skull cleaver, and a hexer. Hexadecimals. Lame. Uh, don't you hex me, son? I'll go ahead and dispel his nastiness. And, uh... We're blinded by the light. Oh, they're not blinded. They only get blinded on a critical... On a critical hit. Who do we got? We got... Bierce. Oh, uh, Aaron Sky. I wonder if he's a the developers. They might be. Oh, way to get in there, son. Look at him just, like, wade into the middle of everybody. Kick you in your nuts. Never gets old. And cleave you with my cleaver. Arr, I'm a goblin. Ooh, he absorbed the damage. What a BA. Dancing goblin. Oh, of course, he hits me, but misses the other guy. And Red Bull gives you wings. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and just do some nummy light action. Make sure you stay healthy. And uh, Holy Nova. Mm, Holy Nova or drop a hammer. We're gonna drop a hammer. Just kill this guy off, please, 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 please. Yes. The goblins suddenly stop fighting and run away. Oh, we got plus two dwarf reputation. Ha ha. Your times are coming to the end, dwarves. Breathe the ashes while you still can. This is odd. They have nothing to do here. Are they on something? 
Um, we don't know what is expecting us there, heroes. We should go back and inform our commanders. Thanks for helping. We'll meet again soon. Farewell. That was a pretty good encounter. I like that. It ramped us up. So this is the game. This is the game I've been wanting to play. This is an awesome game. I'm loving this game. Uh, this is, again, this is Overfall. Uh, developed by Para Games. Which are based out of Istanbul. I just realized that. I just realized I just learned that. But uh, they did an amazing job with this game. I, th I really love it. It's a ton of fun. And uh, hopefully you're going to see some more. Let's go ahead and feed this fella a little bit here. Two, four, six. Feed you. Feed you. That way when we get back into it, we're really close to... Ooh, what is this? Let's, hold on, hold on. Let's just see one more. we got to end on a quest. Oh, let's recruit somebody. Oh, Yes. An ice maiden, a rift stalker, or a justicar. A justicar is a, like a like a meaty tank. I don't know what a rift stalker is. And an ice maiden, a warlock, and a hunter, and a pirate. Oh, I have so many. What should I do, guys? Well, let's see. Maybe next episode you can see who we recruit. You guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.